What is your role? Sure. Yeah. Two primary components that come to mind for me immediately. One is holding space and the other is modeling. Mm. So holding space, creating an environment, contributing to an environment where kids have autonomy to choose how they mm -hmm. spend their time and where, where they have the freedom to, where they're sort of a, afforded the same ability to author their life that they mm. will be for the rest of their lives. In a, mm. a traditional school, that sense of authorship is postponed until adulthood. But we think that, at least at the Circle School, what we believe is that the best way to be ready to steer your own life in a satisfying way is to start doing it and practicing it mm -hmm. uh, as early as possible. So part of it is is contributing to an environment where that is possible. Mm -hmm. And then the other part would be modeling mature development our kids, we have a, an age mixed program, students as young as four and a half and as old occasionally as 19, typically mm -hmm. 18, so K through 12, are all here at school. And it's a mixed age community among the kids and as well as the adults. So everyone here is modeling their various stages of development. And it can be a, a really wonderful thing where younger kids look up to older kids. Some of the older kids... <laughs> <laughs> some of the excesses of being a teenager are sometimes moderated by having younger kids around. Mm -hmm. And my job as an adult is to, to show mature development, to show balancing of life skills and, and to mm -hmm. be of assistance to, to everyone else who's growing in the same way. Nice. nice. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Burr.